My pathway to becoming an investor is I was an entrepreneur myself and a founder of two companies in New Zealand, grew them up, uh, sold them, and so I semi-retired at 42 and have just done things that I enjoy since then. And like most angels, it's kind of a mix of three reasons. The probably most important one is giving something back and so trying to help the next generation along. The second one is economic return. We do this to make money because we need to recycle the money and go again. And I've had uh, two exits recently where I managed to exit one company, use the money to fund another company and then managed to exit that. So that process works really well. And the third reason is angels are really interesting people and so there's a whole bunch of really interesting people you can hang out with and have really interesting discussions about. And our research over time shows us that's kind of the three reasons for most angels. So the best thing is get involved with the club very early. You know, it's a lot of knowledge, a lot of shared experience and they're very welcoming to new people. So you, you get involved with the club and you learn by watching what other people do. And then I think it's a question of just taking baby steps to start with. And so if you've got an amount of money to invest, you want to invest a tenth of that in ten different companies. You don't want to put one lot of money into just one company. And, and you want to learn over time. Um, when I look back on my investments, um, my track record is my first one was good. It was lucky. Uh, but the next half dozen were not so good. And so I was learning and finding my way. And then after that, uh, they've been consistently quite good. So you learn and you evolve over time. So I was told very early in the game that you back the, the jockey and, and not the horse and so I think it's all about the person, the people, uh, the founders of the team and, and what I look for is um, high energy, um, high drive and determination to succeed because it's tough getting a startup off the ground and you have to have far more perseverance than inspiration and so if I see high energy and I see commitment and I see dedication and determination to succeed, they're all huge ticks for me. Uh, my best performing uh, investment uh, was somebody who pitched at 18. Uh, he came up on the stage and he was just a ball of energy. Uh, he uh, pitched to 250 people, 10 of us backed him out of 250 and it's been a complete uh, rocket ship. And that's Jamie Beaton from uh, Crimson Education. So it's, it's really all about the people. The big thing about diversity is uh, different opinions. There's no one way to do something and the more inclusive you are of different ways of doing things, the better the overall outcome. And I think by and large angel groups are quite diverse. I mean I look at the executive of the association and we've got three men, uh, three women and, and one uh, migrant from uh, Taiwan. And so we've got a good uh, range of skills and a good mix of uh, views. It was interesting one of the speakers said yesterday um, that you can even have diversity amongst uh, old white men because although they're a stereotype they all have different backgrounds. Some have come from building small businesses, some have come from corporate backgrounds, some have come from the world of uh, diplomacy and they all have different contributions that they can make.